Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the updates on Furitech. First, the official name for the motor is Greyhound, and it is now available for purchase. And another update is now the Momentum ESC has boost and turbo settings for brushless motors. This comes with the new firmware version 2.7. You'll have to update the app first, and then the firmware. The app update is only available on Android for now, the iOS will come later. So what is Boost and Turbo? Basically, they alter the motor timing to increase the RPM. But remember, more RPM means less torque and less runtime because of the higher power consumption. The Boost will increase the timing from a certain RPM range. So at the beginning, you'll have the main motor timing that you set, and then the timing will change gradually once you hit the range you set for the Boost. The turbo will activate at full throttle. You can also set a delay on it. All of these can be set in the app. Normally, these are restricted to the sensor system, and this is the first time I've seen them both on sensorless. I've never driven a car that has boost and turbo before, so this is my first impression of them. Uh, I could be wrong, but this is how I feel when driving it. For my drift car, it is Drift R 2.0 with Furitech Momentum ESC and Greyhound Motor 5500 kV. With this car, it feels a little bit more organic to drive, like the power level increases through how I press the throttle. And this is my touring car for testing. It is GL Racing GLA with Veritech Momentum ESC and surpassed Rocket 2500 kV motor. With a touring car, it feels like it has a better ramp up of the speed. Well, it is really hard to describe, so you'll have to experience that yourself. Here's to show you a proof that it does make a difference. This is Tomiya Speed Checker. Please don't mind the slow speed because uh, as I said earlier, this is 2500 kV motor. Let's try with the turbo and boost off first. The speed fluctuates between 11 and 12 km an hour. And now with the boost and the turbo on. It goes steady at 12 km an hour. If you have a Furitech Momentum, please don't forget to update the app and the firmware. If you are interested in getting one, I have the links in the description for distributors around the world, and you can choose whichever closest to you. And that's it for this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and click the bell icon to get the notification whenever I upload a new video. You can follow me on Facebook or social media for quick updates, written reviews, news, and to see what I'm doing between videos. Thanks as always for watching and see you again next time.